keys to victory, Mike, for both the Golden Knights and the Oilers in a pivotal game five? Well, I'm going to take Vegas in saying what they need to do to win. Now, I, I think Edmonton might have the inside track on this, but here's what Vegas, Vegas has to score first. Like, they haven't done it yet in this series against Edmonton, and they're a very different team when they do. Regular season, Vegas was 38-5-3 and three when they scored the first goal. Now, they have won twice in this series against Edmonton. They didn't score first either time. Their resiliency was great. They came back and scored right away afterwards. But I'm not sure they're going to be able to do that without Alex Petrangelo in the lineup. And Aiden Hill had a rocky first period in game yeah. four. So that makes me a little bit nervous as well. I think that Vegas, especially on home ice, they need to score first and they need to do that by starting some of their talent. Like we're not talking about the fourth line. They need to put out Howden Stone Stevenson or maybe even this, Tyler. Maybe Vegas puts together the misfits to start the game, even just for one shift. Marcia So Carlson and Smith see what they can do to try to generate a little bit. So I'm curious from your side, though, what you think Edmonton needs to do to be able to take this game. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned uh, William Carlson. Where is that guy? One assist so far in this series. He's been borderline invisible despite playing north of 15 minutes in every game. Uh, a quick note on Vegas for me, Mike, it's going to be they need to stay disciplined. You look at the two games they've lost in this series. They've given the Oilers multiple power play looks in the first 10 minutes of each of those games. And Edmonton's burned them multiple times in the first 10 minutes of yeah. each of those games. Vegas has to stay out of the box. That Shea Theodore penalty last game was beyond stupid. For the Oilers, it's almost going to be the opposite of that. It's going to be keep this five-on-five -five play going. The reason why I think Oilers fans were encouraged with that game four victory, three goals at five-on-five. -five. You've got depth scoring with a guy like Nick Bukestad finding the back of the net. Ryan Nugent Hopkins is maybe going to start to get going here after scoring his first of the series. If you're Vegas, you want to keep this thing at five-on-five. -five. If you're Edmonton, you need to recognize that that's a possibility in the playoffs, and you need to bring your best when it's at even strength. Yeah, agree. And I think Edmonton has to keep that physical presence. They bullied Vegas in game four. That has to happen again in game five. Take that crowd out of it. 